today I got two different types of P.E.K.K.A. Super Smash to show you, and they are super powerful, all right? The first one's going to be shown to us by Johnny. He actually six-packed with this version. He's going to start it off with the Blizzard and then do a P.E.K.K.A. Super Smash around the rest of the base. After that, I'm going to go and show you my version with six P.E.K.K.A.s, and I'm going to go in and do two live attacks to round out this video with six P.E.K.K.A.s, six Super Wizards, so hang in there for that, man. He used the Hound. He used a Freeze to get that Blizzard right next to the Town Hall, and he He's going to be able to reach a ton of value from right here. In fact, he's going to cut out a big old pie chunk of this base. Look at this, man. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. He even, he even cut out some of the buildings on the outside. So he's got a good place to go ahead and start the rest of his army and have them stick together moving over to the right-hand side there. And look at this. We got a Warden Walk coming in. Uh, you don't really want the Warden to get stuck on that Ice Golem. Uh, maybe dropping that Queen to help get him down. There we go. All right. They're frozen. As soon as that Freeze wears off, though, they are going to be moving their way through the base. Now it's about the time to get that first Super Wall Breaker down so you can drop down the P.E.K.K.A.s and get them moving into the base. All right. We're moving towards that first Scatter Shot, towards the Queen, towards the Eagle Artillery, in towards those Inferno Towers. And here we go. The only thing I'm worried about on this pathing is these Dark Pumps right out here king is actually gonna go out there and grab them and so do all the pekkas oh my goodness he breaks some of the pekkas back in i told you i was worried about it man the king going out there i'm fine with because he needs to do that funneling but look how many of the pekkas went outside the base after that pump that was left up man a little better king placement and johnny could have had that entire side cleared by his king and every single one of his pekkas inside that base right now but he's got some pekkas in there he's got his healers which is very important he's got some super wizards in there with the queen so he's gonna try and push his way through the core with what he has in there and then as for the outside i mean that's the strongest outside force you'd ever have to ask for right there man pop that queen ability the singles locked on oh he didn't see it oh my gosh the giant bomb she's on her last sliver of health at least get the single down so it doesn't melt all your pekkas all right queen's going down at this point but we don't have that much base left you guys look at this <laughs> look at this we still have super wizards alive in the base with the healer we got a royal champion coming in on the backside, and guys she's still got her ability I didn't even know she hadn't been used yet, but these defenses don't pose any threat to her whatsoever. Johnny, you know, obviously had a little bit of a funneling fail there and still annihilated this base, dude. Look how many P.E.K.K.A.s are still alive. He's got healers, royal champion, king. He swags a royal champion ability. Are you kidding me? This is the last one of these Blizzard ones I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you my six P.E.K.K.A. version uh, where I don't use any Blizzard. We're just using a Log Launcher in there. We're going to rage our way and jump our way through the base. Actually, I'm only bringing one jump, so be sure to stay tuned for that, all right? So here we go, man. Blizzard goes in, gets the Town Hall, gets one of the Inferno Towers as well. Is he out? Oh, he's not quite out of invisibility spells. Oh, they're going to get taken down by the poison, though. Why didn't they just go for this other lower level wall? They could have avoided the poison and got down that multi-target Inferno. As it is, it's pretty low on health, but that builder is sitting there working on it, trying to get it healed back up to full. We got some super minions causing some trouble. You might notice he's got no poison in this army composition. I'm not going to lie, dude. I don't bring a poison in this army composition either. Anytime I have super wizards in my main force, they're so good with their chain ability at dealing with any type of CC troop that I don't bother bringing a a poison i know that my super wizards are going to be able to handle it whether it's a hound i mean once that thing pops the super wizards just chain right through the pups in a heartbeat witches spawning their skellies same thing man uh the, the super wizards chain through all the skellies they make short work of anything that you could possibly have in the clan castle so i don't br bother bringing a poison with them either all right, here we go. Dude, this multi that that builder, that builder got back up to full health is causing some serious issues, causing him to pop that Grand Warden ability a little earlier than he otherwise would. He's finally got access with the jump, and Queen's going to reach over to take it out, man. Oh, my goodness. Here we go, dude. Pekka's working their way through. They're going to need to start busting through some walls, though. Here we go. Let's see, he drops a Royal Champion over on the left. That's a perfect spot because look at all those ground defenses or all the defenses in there. They're all targeting P.E.K.K.A.s that are being healed right now. They're all being tanked. So Royal Champion is barely even touched. Only one Archer Tower decided to target her. Now, here's the danger area. She's getting out in front of the other troops. as She's coming up to that Grand Warden platform. So you can expect she's going to start taking a lot more damage. Now, one thing I noticed in this, by the way, that I don't think I noticed in the last attack, this Johnny Six-Pack, so it probably held true on that attack as well 
well. He has no unicorn. He's got to be upgrading it. Can you imagine how smashed these bases would have been if he would also had like a unicorn on his royal champion? Are you freaking kidding me, man? Look at the backside of this base, dude. We got four P.E.K.K.A.s still alive. I think that's the same number he brought, isn't it? Did he not have a single P.E.K.K.A. die? And Queen in this channel has access to every remaining defense in this base. All right. Johnny smashed his through his six pack. No problem at all. So many troops left over. Let's see if I can have the same success. All right, guys, here's the army comp I'm using. Let's go find a base. All right, I'm gonna drop my king way over here. Then I'm gonna drop my warden up here. But we gotta make sure that we get the warden onto some P.E.K.K.A.s before, before he starts aggro and damage from like the archer queen, all right? In fact, we're going to pop that. There we go. We'll get those P.E.K.K.A.s in there. And we're going to get that Log Launcher in there. And we'll get the Queen in there as well. Here we go. This is right where we want them. And then, I don't even know. We don't, we're not even going to need the jump. Honestly, we can just... You know what? We will need a jump to help go get the Queen. But... And we'll drop the RC over here. Use a skeleton spell to tank that. Here we go. Oh, Queen had to pop her ability. Yikes, I did not even notice that single was on her. And we still got a Grand Warden ability to use. Holy moly. Let's freeze this town hall. We got a ton of troops heading in there. Let's go cover all those troops, please. Boom, Grand Warden ability. All right, let's see how this RC is doing. She's doing great. We do need some cleanup wizards behind her. We literally don't even have to tank any of this stuff yet. They're already being tanked by uh, by my P.E.K.K.A.s and whatnot. All right, so she gets rid of that. She will be heading into this single. There we go. Not going too shabby. Let's get rid of this mortar with the wizard right there. And let's watch just see if she gets targeted by anything in here. Ugh, I didn't like those skellies coming in to distract her. So I used up my last freeze to freeze not only the single, but the skellies as well. There we go. Sure enough, skellies distracted her. At least the single was down by then. Can she take out one more before I have to pop her ability? Yes, she can. We'll pop that ability. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Unicorn should be able to keep her healed up through one archer tower. So we're not looking too shabby right here. There we go. All right, Eagle Artillery's down. This is the second to last defense that went down. Yikes, I didn't even notice that. Uh, but here we go, man. Royal Champion survives the raid. Six P.E.K.K.A.s, baby. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna start it off with the Warden Walk right here. And it might speed it up just a skosh with a Super Wizard. Because we want the Warden to target in and take out either the Cannon or the Archer Tower so he Quits getting too much damage for his healers to heal up. There we go. That's actually just fine right there. Get another P.E.K.K.A. in there. And a bunch of P.E.K.K.A.s. There we go. And let's check our angles. So we open up both compartments. There we go. And we'll get the queen in there with this crew as well. Right now, Scattershot is on the P.E.K.K.A.s. So I'm not too worried about popping the Grand Warden ability or anything. There we go. This is going rather quite nicely. Now, we got clan castle troops coming out, so we're going to rage up the super wizards and the P.E.K.K.A.s. They should bust through that same area right there. Now, we're going to drop in the RC on the side, because we got the core troops doing some amazing tanking. Here we go. We will get that in there as well. We don't even need the Grand Warden ability yet, but let's go ahead and pop it. And let's drop a jump right here. Get some droops doing some good things over here. Let's use one of our freezes. Make sure the queen can get through this section. Pop that royal champion ability to get through that multi. And let's get rid of these skellies. Or put them on ice, I should say. That way queen can finish off the multi. While the royal champion finishes off the other one. Yeah, it's going nice and easy right now. We'll drop another wizard. Just help speed up. Dude, we still got a rage. We still have all of our skeleton spells. Are you for real? 
RC's going over on this side. She's going to have to take on the king. So I guess we'll use our rage right there. And here, watch this. We'll rage up the skellies too. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so great. Dude, RC got the kill. We still have a freeze. Oh my goodness. We have more wizards. Might as well bust open this wall. Not looking too shabby. Queen, Pekka's. We got a freeze that we don't even need. We'll go and swag that down here. And there you go, man. Pretty simple. Find a path. Drop the RC in an area that's already being tanked. Then you can use further tanking with skeletons, freezes, uh, more Pekka's, more power. Enjoy the army. I'll see you in the next video.